Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Sharon Nabobi. This month we're talking about African women artists and looking at their works and the themes that they are addressing in their art. And as part of our ongoing series, we've been highlighting African women artists every day this month on our Facebook page, our Instagram, and also through our Tumblr. Now I wanted to talk to you about three narratives of the African women today. Um, as you know, the Africa is a continent of over 50 countries, um, various societies and cultures, but there are different ways of exploring the narratives of who African women are. And so the first one I want to talk to you about is the work of Wangeshi Mutu. Uh, she presented a video installation titled The End of Eating Everything and this featured musician Santi Gold who played the role of the protagonist in the video. Now in the video you see a black female mystical creature who seems to be some sort of a planet in an uh, universe um, and she's consuming little smaller creatures and as she goes along you can also see that she's also emitting pollution and waste and this is very interesting because it addresses the theme of overconsumption and its effects on us today in society and so at the end of the film you see the creature explode in what Wangechi and Santigo describe as an explosive renewal now, I personally am intrigued by the use of a female, uh, black female creature in, as a protagonist. And I wonder if Mangechi is also um, speaking to the consumption habits of African American or African or Afro diasporan women and what uh, themes she's also addressing in, in, you know, as a result of this. A second narrative is presented by Mary Sibande, who is a South African uh, artist, and her work tends to address the narratives of the individual. reality of her daily work through her imagination and by imagining a new reality where she could be or that she could be experiencing. This is interesting because it addresses the themes of identity, of culture and the complex elements of uh, society in South Africa today after the apartheid. A third female artist to consider is Lala Asedi. Her work addresses themes of the Arab female identity and in doing so she addresses the perception of Arab women in relation to Western cultures but in the context of Arab societies. She does so taking inspiration from her personal experiences and also uh, commenting on the complex relationship between some the sometimes contrasting perceptions of Arab women between Western and Arab uh, contexts. So these are just three examples of narratives that uh, we can explore when we talk about who the African woman is today. Um, it's very easy to sometimes generalize what, who African women are. But when you start to look at the different subcultures uh, within you know, countries and regions, we can see that there are different stories that need to be told that are not as popular but need to be considered as well. So this month, as we continue to highlight African women artists and the words that they are um, that they present in addressing the topics in relation to women today, take a look at them and consider which ones you relate to, especially which ones speak to your everyday experiences, and which ones you find particularly intriguing. And if there aren't any narratives that you can relate to, tell us and let us know. So this Sunday, we'll be having a live chat on Twitter, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 6 p.m. GMT. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there. Uh, share your thoughts with us on Twitter. Uh, which artists are you relating to especially? And I hope to see you there. Alright, thanks. Bye. And I'm not asking you to be an angel. Just don't ever make me a fool. Just as a sparrow greets the morning with a song for all the birds in the tree. Just as the shore receives no warmth